Welcome. Today I am doing something very basic and I do this a lot when it comes to making my own tools and handcrafting them. Today I am making magical bags and these are used for spells, for keeping stones in your pocket, for putting up herbs and whatnot over the doors, for all sorts of different things. You can even use them as gift bags if you so wish. Now, this is the thing. We have a Dollarama in Canada. I don't know if you have them elsewhere. But for $3, you can get a square package of all different colors. And all you do is you take one, you fold it in half, as so, cut it down the middle. So now you can either make a bag this size, or you can fold it and you can make a bag this size. Now, one of the first things that you do is you fold over to make a lip. That's the inside part. And you sew along here, as you can tell. You sew right along here. Then you take the other side and you sew it along. Then you put them together and you do a blanket stitch around the edge. Very simple, very basic. And when you're done that, you can put string through the top with a, I use a safety pin, tie it to it, push it through, pull it through, and now we have a little mojo bag. Some people tend to take a piece of material or felt, put their herbs and stones in the center, gather it up like this and tie it with a string. We do that too, especially for spirit bags, ancestral gatherings, that sort of thing. Um, we do that too. But I find that if I can make a bunch of these all different colors and put them in a drawer, whenever I'm ready to do a spell or I'm gifting a piece of jewelry away or I am oh my goodness, doing all sorts of different things in magic. I've got a variety and I can pick what I need. You could also do like this where I've got double sided for different things. This can be for a child and banishing negativity. The string, you can also change the colors on so that you've got different colors on them. Like this one here, you can put for healing, healing of others. And the red, perhaps it's a anxiety issue. So you've got for fear. And the blue, in the thread, it adds more healing. Simple as that. Now these, you can, like I said, I use embroidery floss. No biggie. You can use regular thread, but it's not as durable. And it doesn't last as long. And regular string. Regular string you can use for the handles. I also use wool. I've used wool before, too and for the ties and it works out nice as well but i tend to make lots of these so if i've got somebody coming to me for an order and saying okay i want a variety i'll put 20 together different colors and sell them to that like that if i've got a bunch of spells that need to be done within a week. I know I've got a stock 
to be able to do this. So while I'm watching TV at night, while I'm doing something else or talking with people, I'll bring a bunch of stuff out and start just sewing them up by hand. Some people can use a sewing machine if you want. I prefer to put the stitching into it because that puts our energy into it. You need to put in whatever tool you're crafting to make magic. You need to put your energy into it. This is something that I do. Now, within the next couple of days, I'll do a couple videos up of different pouches that you can do. One for prosperity, one for healing, one for protection, one for protection for the car, for your vehicle. And that way you'll see how to implement them in your magic. It's as simple as that. And with every new thing that we do, again, I'll teach you how and share with you why. Some people use, they actually take squares of material. Now you can use either brand new material. I have one friend who takes old clothes, washes it, cuts it up into squares, and sews it like this into pouches. Saves her money. Again, these will save you money. It takes a little bit of time, but you're putting your power, your energy into it. So it's worth it. But buying something at the store that was not made by a witch or not put together by hand is not going to have the same energy. You are an extension of your tools, and your tools are an extension of you. In other words, if you're putting together a pouch for a child, you want as much of your energy into this, working it. It's as simple as that. When you don't have that energy in there, there's a distance. There is, this is a part of you once you've worked it. This is a part of you. It's like a wand or an athane or any extension of your magic. It amplifies you. It continues the magic. So when this is given to the child or given to another person that you need, you're doing the magic for, it continues. It holds a part of you and works the magic. And that's something that I've been taught since I was really little. I can remember working my grandmother's treadle machine and every stitch was considered magic. And that was just for doll blankets. Okay? When you sat down with a basket thread and material that was magic being accomplished now some people are going to say I don't sew I don't do this I don't do that you know what I've seen the most awkward guy in the world sit down and sew I've seen little kids my kids sew up stuff when they were like four to six years old. 
because they wanted it done. So there is no excuse not to do it. On the other hand, again, some people just don't have the time. That's when you find somebody who does it by hand because you know it's gonna hold more energy, more power. Now, one of the things I'm gonna do for you as a little incentive, small incentive, is I'm going to pull a card. Now, what do you want? Think of a question. Think of a question that you want. Okay. Can you think? I think so. Now, one of the things that I want to do is, given that I like doing readings, and given the fact that I enjoy, I would like to do a reading maybe once every week, every two weeks. Got your question? Good. This is the Wicca deck that I'm using today. And the card that I pulled is called The sword, aspiration, aspiration. Now, this says to me, that as much as you have in exhausting yourself with daily life there is always a way to build your energy focus your energy and rebuild whether it's through meditation or it's working magic or it's walking in nature. There is always a way to build your energy. Sometimes it's just visiting with people that you love. That's a positive too. And in these trying times, that can be really hard when you don't see everybody that you love. And you have to build on that. 